Okay, hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial series. Um, in this series we're going to be creating a version checking system. So the idea is that this would be part of like something that you are distributing, obviously a PHP script or like system collection of scripts. So this could be like a forum system, forum software, or like a CMS, blog software, anything like that. Uh, and all like the sort of big softwares like WordPress, who um should and like PHP BB and all those things have this as part of their admin area. So the idea is that this script will sort of check the v current version of the sort of overall system against a version defined like on a URL, like you know, on a like website basically. Uh, so then you can update the version whenever there's an update and the admin area will prompt the admin of the site to go to your website and download the new version. Um, so what we're going to be doing is creating the sort of version checking part of all that. So I'll just briefly demonstrate it here. You can see that I have op the page I have open at the moment um, tells me I have the latest version. Reloading this page it says the same thing obviously. Um, so this is what this is ha what this is actually doing here is downloading a text file from a URL is checking the version of the in you know it's checking the string the version number in the text file against the one that's defined as part of the system the download um, and it's well, it's telling me that I've got the latest version because it's found that my version is equal to the one from the server so the version number is defined in the init file um, this is a bit of a spoiler but let's just go to uh, the only way to demonstrate this is by uh, changing it. So the init file is this, and you'll see this later. You can see now that my current version is defined as 6. If we change this down to 4 and hit reload, you can see that this message appears. A new version 5.3.6 is available. Um, I'll address this space later. I did sort of forget for the demo. Uh, but this is basically it. And obviously, this page is very simple, but you could then have like a link to the download depending on how simple your system is or that kind of thing. So that's basically it for the demonstration. So come to uh, watch part one, that was weird, and I'll show you how to make this.